you're gonna like this one. Mm. Mm, you're really gonna like this one. <laughs> I was biking home so fast to share this with you. I can feel all these bubbles of excitement and what wants to be shared, but I know it's it's like a long trail of thought, so I'll do my best to take you along for the journey. Ah, oh, God, my heart is beating mm, so much. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> so the first <laughs> the first thing I want to share with you. If there was one thing I could convey to you in this lifetime <laughs> as a ticket to full-on freedom no matter what happens then uh, I think this is it although next week there will probably be another this is it but this is it now <sighs> God. okay so <laughs> here's the first piece So I realized yesterday, <laughs> I've heard it's being said in different ways from different teachers many times, but this really hit home. There is no inherent meaning in circumstance. Let me say that again. There is no inherent meaning in circumstance. And when I say that there is no inherent meaning in circumstance, I mean none. None whatsoever. <laughs> so what this means is that life is simply life happening. It's not what happens in life that determines our experience, but the interpretation that we have about what is happening. So in other words, life is neutral in and of itself. Life is happening. And the experience we have of that is completely determined by how we filter through our belief system or the belief that we hold in that moment about what is happening. There is no relationship whatsoever about what happen between what happens in life and how we feel about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so to just bring this from the theoretical sounds kind of nice but doesn't really make sense let me give you an example so for example if my partner leaves me one perspective could be i feel so betrayed and this is horrible and it's sad and i feel rejected and this must mean that i'm not loved and what if i can never open up and trust again in this way <laughs> and what if i would be alone for the rest of my life and all of these things and that creates a certain experience that comes along with bodily contractions and ideas about how life work, works. And this is filtered through a belief system of lack. A lack of love, a lack of possibilities, a lack of love in this moment, a lack of me being okay as I am, etc. So that's one perspective. Another perspective, which is sort of in the middle, <laughs> is that, wow, my partner has left and this is giving me an opportunity to grow. This is giving me an opportunity to see through things, to have more compassion, to learn things so that I can teach others. It's expanding my heart. <laughs> so that feels somewhat better. That's another perspective. And then the third one is... believe how exciting this is. It's a completely new slate. It's a totally new beginning. There are so many possibilities that are opening up just through this one event of my partner leaving. And the adventures that await are just beyond my comprehension even in this moment. 
and I know for a fact that life is constantly getting better and better and better and as I grow and as I expand as an I come into a deeper trust in life and so does life by default reflect that back to me in terms of the experiences and the people and the situations and everything that comes into my life so this means that life must be in this moment making space for something even better if i look back at my life at my life journey then i can see that every single time there has been the experience of perceived loss in some way it's always, every single time, life making space for the next upgrade. <laughs> so just by the fact that my partner has left must mean that something even better, something even more aligned is on its way into my life. And also it doesn't even really fucking matter because the amount of bliss and peace and freedom that is here now makes it worth everything no matter what happens in the details and no matter what comes from this. And I wouldn't even want to go back into the relationship and definitely not want to go back into being the kind of person that I was within the relationship. <laughs> I feel, I feel that actually my partner leaving might be the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm so grateful for all of the adventures and all of the blessings and all of the gifts and all of the... everything that is happening already as a result of this. <laughs> so that's the third perspective. And these, by the way, are only three of out of an infinite number of possible perspectives. And here's the cool thing that none of them are actually the right perspective. There is no right perspective. There is no inherent meaning in circumstance. My partner leaving or somebody dying or losing money or whatever, there is no inherent meaning in that. But my experience is determined by my filter, by my belief system. And so in seeing that there are all these different perspectives, there is this automatic recognition of that I am none of them. <laughs> but these are all arising in this one space that is observing all of the perspectives, that is including all of the perspectives, but that isn't actually locked into any one of them. <laughs> but also, it is very clear that some perspectives feel horrible and they feel really contracted and some perspectives feel wonderful and some perspective feels kind of sort of in the middle. And so this brings me to the second piece which is about our emotional guidance system. Let me just see they're still filming. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> so most people have gravely misunderstood what emotions are. So emotions also do not say anything about about what is happening, but it is simply a guidance system that is telling us when we are in alignment with or out of alignment with the truth of reality, the truth of how life sees the situation. So the truth of life is infinite abundance, is infinite possibilities, is always a new moment, anything can happen. And when we shift our vibration, when we shift our frequency into a different into a different frequency, we get a different broadcast. In the same way that when you tune your radio station, when you tune your radio to a different station, you get a different broadcast. So when we are vibrating on a frequency of things going wrong and mistakes happening and things are being terrible, then that's the kind of experience that we are attracting into our lives. And when we are vibrating, so to speak, or we are being on a level of life is always working out and I trust life and this is a benign universe that, I, that we all live in and people are kind and people are loving, whatever. Again, none of them are, you know, right, but it will be reflected in our experience. So even if we have the possibility to create the experience of lack, that is still a reflection of the total and complete absolute abundance of possibilities. We are so abundant that we have the possibility to create the experience of lack. Are you following this? So the truth of life is total abundance, total infinite possibilities at all times. And our higher self or consciousness, whatever we want to call it, knows this intimately. And is always in alignment with that. However, our personal self <laughs> sometimes knows this and sometimes does not. For the most part, maybe not. 
and that is what the emotional guidance system is for. When we are feeling bad, it doesn't mean that what we experience is bad. It simply means that in this moment we are believing something that is out of alignment with how life sees the same situation. In other words, we are believing in lack of some kind, whereas life itself, or our higher self, sees abundance at all times. So the cool thing here is that now when we understand this, if we really understand this, that feeling bad doesn't mean that there's something bad actually happens, it simply means that we're believing in something that isn't true. From this moment onwards, if you really understand this, then whenever you feel bad, instead of feeling bad about feeling bad, you can get excited. And this is what's starting to happen now for me as well, that I feel bad about something and I realize ah, that means that in this moment I believe in something that isn't true and then the whole thing just explodes and collapses. I'm holding on to a belief of lack, well lack doesn't exist. And then the whole thing just collapses. So when we see this, then two things happen. When we see that there are all these different perspectives and that we are actually none of them, but we are the space that is observing all the perspectives, the first thing that happens is that instantly we experience a lot more freedom and relief and spaciousness in the moment. So instantly we feel more freed up, we feel more just unattached from the outcome and unattached what, from what is happening. And secondly, from that place of the spaciousness and from the joy <laughs> and from that feeling of being rested in abundance and rooted in the trust in life, then life begins to reflect that back to us in a continuous unfolding of ever-expanding joy, ever-expanding now of continuous more and more and more of the joyous experiences. And this is really, really, really not something to be used as a trick, as in, oh, I better be happy now so that I can create a better future. <laughs> it's not about that. It's not about manifesting a better future. It's about really realizing the truth of the moment now. And then from that place, resting back into the open awareness that includes all perspectives, and then we can choose from there. There's so much more that could be said. Let's see what's relevant now. Oh man, there's so much here. So how can this become something that isn't just something that sounds nice and you think, oh, that's great for her that she's realized that, but that is actually relevant for you. So very simply, if you look at a situation in your life, if you look at something that has happened, that is happening maybe right now in your life, then feel into all of the different perspectives that are possible around that one thing that has happened. And maybe you're already experiencing different perspectives arising naturally or maybe you're just really locked into this one perspective of that this is what happened and this is how I feel about it and if that's the case then see if you can kind of invent some other possible perspectives just to open up the possibility for a wider perspective for other ways of seeing it and as you feel into the different voices as you feel into the different perspectives also notice how it feels in your body notice the emotional tone of that and that will give you an indication of which perspective is more in or out of alignment with how life itself sees the situation. So noticing the different voices, noticing the different perspectives and then from that place can you see that just by the fact that you can observe the different perspectives that means that none of them are actually you. <laughs> you are free from all of the perspectives. You are in fact freedom itself. And 
and then really resting back into that awareness that is observing all of the different perspectives and tuning into which one do you want to choose, which belief system do you choose to create your life and your world around. And so, God, this is so exciting. When this really hits home, oh my God, your life, everything is gonna change if it hasn't already. But so maybe right now you're just jumping with joy and you feel really excited and you really get this. And maybe it feels like, oh, but this is really, really, really what has happened. And this is really what happened to me. So this brings the question, why would we hold on to a perspective that brings us suffering? Why would we hold on to perspective that feels contracted, that feels like sadness, that feels like we believe in mistakes happening in life, that we believe in that lack can actually exist? Why would we hold on to that? And I would say there are two possible answers to that. And one is that we feel justified in our opinion. We feel like, no, he did this to me and therefore I feel like this. And that's the logical and natural and right way to feel about it and that's that. That we feel justified, we feel identified with the perspective. So it's only when we can drop the identification with the perspective and stop feeling it as this is me and my perspective but more, oh, this is one of possible perspectives and it's creating a certain experience. And actually it's not about what happened because crazy shit happens all the time. It's not about what happens. It's about how do we filter that through and what do we choose to create from here on? Because the manifestation that shows up is only reflective of what you thought about yesterday and back in time. The present moment is a reflection, a manifestation of your past vibration, of your past being. And what you believe in now and what you hold as true now will determine how reality responds as a result of that. And the second part why we might hold on to a perspective that brings suffering is that there might simply be a time to actually just feel this. For example, if a partner has left to just feel sadness for some time, but feeling something fully and allowing the emotion to be there and letting it release is different from dwelling on something and holding on to a perspective for longer than necessary when it's not actually serving us. Are you following this? So there is no inherent meaning in circumstance. Our emotional guidance system is simply pointing us into greater alignment with truth, with the truth of life, and the truth of who we are. So when something feels off, it simply means, oh great, this is an opportunity to see through something. This is an opportunity to uncover a limiting belief so that we can be free of it. Or well, not even free of it, but realize the freedom that is always here, no matter what perspectives show up. And then rest back into that awareness. Freedom itself, freedom no matter what happens. And from that place, freedom to play, freedom to create, freedom to choose. Mm. Yeah. I think you got this, huh? So you're very welcome to share any perspectives, insights, experiences, comments here down below. probably be more things to say about this I'll share in more videos whenever something bubbles up but this feels enough for now so thank you for tuning in I wish you the best time ever